Hey everybody, it's your girl Bunny. To all of my returning subscribers, hey, how you doing? And for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome, kick your feet up as I give a recap of TLC's 90 Day Fiance Before the 90 Days, a first look episode, giving us a little sneak peek of what to expect for season four, episode 14, entitled Hard Habit to Break. That's all coming up next. <gasps> it's Bunny. <laughs> Stephanie gets ready to go back to the States and she says that she feels bad about how everything went down between her and Erica, how packing up is bittersweet. She was able to see Erica, but things didn't work out and that she also dreads telling her mom about her bisexuality. She says that she hoped that things would have went better and she truly believed that her and Erica had a connection. What's interesting is when Stephanie gets to the airport, she says that I hope hoped Erica would have shown up at the airport to say a final goodbye, which I thought was interesting because why would Erica show up again when you broke up with her, when you said goodbye and you said it was over? So it was really shocking to think that Stephanie would think that Erica would show up one final time. Lisa and Usman once again, they're always in a tip for tat. And Lisa is upset again about Usman not proposing to her, which is an American tradition. He expressed that to her, that this is something new. I don't know how to do that. It's something that Americans do. It's not something that's in his culture. And she throws a fit because there's only a day or two before the wedding. And he still has not traditionally in her eyes in the American way got down on one knee and proposes and in typical Lisa fashion she throws a fit cusses him out and says f you and leaves him and says it's over I don't need it and Usman is very frustrated and the producers want to ask you know are you excited about the wedding are you okay and he's like I don't know everything is an argument everything is just a big deal to her but he gets up again and goes into the hallway to talk with her. And she explains that, look, the wedding is only in a few days and you haven't proposed to me. And he's just like, we really got to work out some issues. You're always throwing a fit. It's okay. And Lisa calms down and says, you know, I really love him. And in order for us to move on, you know, we're going to get through everything together. He calms her down. They go back to the room. She says she needs some time to brush her hair. She goes into the restroom and she's just babbling away when she opens the door she sees that Usman is on one knee he has the ring and he proposes to Lisa and Lisa bursts in tears and she's just looking at him in complete awe getting her way again but he knows that he has to do that because that's what makes her happy Usman also says the production that I planned on proposing to her the other day but she was upset about the woman that said something to me on social media so I really couldn't propose that night and I don't even know how to propose I just saw it in a movie that somebody got down on their knee and said will you marry me so I just did my best and it's a good thing that it worked out. When Lisa goes into the hallway to speak for produ production, she says, it's everything that I dreamed of. He proposed to me. He's the love of my life. I can't believe it. So hopefully she was satisfied for a few minutes with that because you know it's only going to be a few seconds before she's complaining or upset about something else. Ash and Avery talk. It's the last day Avery will be in his hometown and Avery suggests that they should just consider traveling for a while due to the fact that they need to talk about their kids and their children don't need culture shocks and being away from their parents and Ash confirms that that's true and it's an ongoing process and that maybe they should keep working on their relationship but he also tells her that he needs his Australian passport so he can come to America but it can take 
three months to a year and Avery gets very worried because she doesn't know when she could come back to Australia financially time wise because she has to consider her children as well and Avery is very sad about that and she fears that she will have to wait a very long time but Ash confirms to her we'll do what we can I'll visit when I can hopefully it's not a long process I really want to be with you and I really see myself proposing to you and us being married that is in my plan so he does confirm to her that this is not just a fling this is something that I'm taking seriously and that I want to pursue and Avery gets some confirmation with that they have a quick talk and she says well I'm glad you said that but it's always going to be in the back of my mind concerning that passport and he says I'll keep you updated about the status of everything I don't want that to wreck your mind let's just try to go day by day and I will keep you posted on any new information information that I receive. Ed is heading back to the States and he's embarrassed. He says that he dreads going back home because he'll have to tell everybody what happened. Everybody that had doubts about not only the online relationship, but that it just didn't work out at all. The mom meets him at the airport and ask him how he's doing and she that she's excited to see him and also sees his doggy and she can tell that something isn't right because of his body language and his facial expression he doesn't seem like he's really happy and she questions hey how's rosa how did everything go and he says well unfortunately it was up, it was down, it was crazy, it was beautiful. It was all of these things, but Rosa is out. Rose Rose is no more. Excuse me, not Rosa, but Rose. And, you know, it just didn't work out. So the mom expresses that to production that she had her doubts and she didn't believe anything could evolve from a relationship online. And on the way home, Ed tells her, you know, it got to a point where we were talking about marriage and all of the potentials of our relationship. And I told her that I didn't see children in the future and that I wasn't ready for any more children. And that upset her because she wants children and I just wasn't ready for that. He leaves out all of the other things that he did to embarrass her, insult her. He leaves all of that out, of course. He admits to production that he messed up, but it seems like he's not taking a lot of responsibility for a lot of the things that happened the mom says well maybe rose just needs time and maybe things will get better just give her a minute to be by herself and that was the end of the first look into season four episode 14 we'll get the rest on sunday and of course i'll have the recap on my channel look forward to more and check out those playlists subscribe hit that notification bell so you don't miss any posts and also follow me on Instagram at the same profile name, officialbun underscore E. Let me know your thoughts about this first look. Until next time, bye!